what's up, folks? Um, I just felt like talking about, I was watching some videos online, and I ran into uh, a video of Corey Feldman trying to sell the idea of the electronic cigarette. Um, and I just, uh, I, I commented on it. I don't even know. Somebody was uploading it kind of secondhand, I think. But I, I just, uh, I have a strong opinion about those electronic cigarettes, and I just kind of wanted to, to talk about it. Um, I mean, right off the bat, my, my feelings on cigarettes are that you, you either are a smoker or you're addicted to nicotine, you know, you're either that or you're not. You're, you're either a smoker or a non-smoker, essentially. And unfortunately, you know, quitting smoking is not incredibly easy, but it's not the hardest thing in the world. You know, um, everybody, if they took, tried it out, eventually they can succeed. Um, but there isn't, there's unfortunately no miracle, super easy way to do it. You know, these um, electronic cigarettes are just a way to to hold on to the addiction and hopefully do less damage to your body and unfortunately you still have the addiction you're supporting your addiction and so at any given point you could break and go right back to the cigarettes you know it's not like you're breaking your addiction and you're free that's the one thing that, that Corey Feldman was saying in that video was that he wasn't a slave anymore. Well, if you're a slave to the cigarette, sure, it's it's better to be a slave to something that isn't killing you, um, but you're still a slave. You still got to buy your cartridges, waste that money on nicotine, and you're not through with the addiction. So it's that much. I mean, once you once you decide you want a cigarette, you're gonna go back to the cigarette. I don't know. It's just uh, I don't think that it's a uh, it's a good alternative. I don't think it's a, a good way. I don't I don't really believe in using the patch or the gum, anything like that. I think that they can have a success rate, but the people that succeed on them, I think, would have succeeded just with the cold turkey method anyway. Um. I just feel like you gotta cut nicotine out of your system, and I tried the um, the the um, water vapor electronic cigarettes. I mean, they they don't they don't feel like a real cigarette, so they don't do the trick. You just want to smoke. If you're a smoker and you have an electronic cigarette, it makes you want to smoke. I feel like, but I could be wrong. In any case. That's just my two cents on it. I saw that, and I don't know. I feel like um, when I was looking for an easy way to quit, I that's when I went to the electronic cigarette. I tried it out. It didn't work for me, and I don't think it works for most people. Um, so, who knows? In any case, if you have any questions about the electronic cigarette, um... Throw me a question. I'll answer it. Um, I, you know, the sad thing is when I tried that electronic cigarette out, I just, um, I wanted it to work so bad that I was just looking up positive reviews for it anyway. So I imagine if you're going to try to quit with that, you're going to try no matter what, regardless of what I say. But the best thing to do would be pick up Alan Carr's book. The easy way to stop smoking, read it, make that your first step because uh, if if you're able to to use that method, then you're golden. If not, then move on to your patches and such. But I think that it's the best way just to to teach yourself how smoking doesn't benefit you and kind of reverse brainwash yourself because we. We as a society have been brainwashed into understanding what a cigarette is and what it does for us. We, we've been totally brainwashed. And um, 
yeah, if you do some reverse brainwashing, that's the first step, I think, in, uh, in cutting it out. Anyway, I hope I'm not being negative, but I just want to give my two cents. All right, peace out.